Hi, this is Frank Prendergast for Daily Extra with author Edmund White. Thank you very much for being with us. Happy to be here. Welcome to Toronto. Thank you. I, I don't think you've been here very often. Uh, you know, oddly enough, I was uh, here in the 70s when there were uh, protests at the gay bookstores against censorship in Canada, which still exists, by the way. Uh, I mean, your customs officials still uh, censor books for coming in from the States. But uh, I was there that then, and then I was here for your Stonewall, which was 1981, the Baths raid. And Were I, you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how did you I, manage I, to be here? At, how was your timing so perfect? It always is. <laughs> it is. I was at Stonewall, too. I don't know why. It, I mean, I'm the least political person in the world, but I was the first president of the Gay Men's Health Crisis, yeah. so I'm always there when the Bastille is about to fall, but I don't know how. I, I mean, it's just pure chance. Were you in the Baths at the time no, of the Baths? I, I was invited to come up, and I remember I was going to give a rather prissy, pedantic talk, and somebody said, you don't dare talk that way, and so I just threw away my notes and fed everybody red meat, and it was the only time in my life I felt powerful, and I, and I liked it, and I disliked myself for liking it. How did you feel powerful? What part of it? Well, I mean, the crowd was roaring, and yeah, and punching the air with their fists, and I mean, it was a very exciting moment. Was it as exciting as Stonewall? Yeah. We're always the poor cousin of what happens in America. <laughs> I always feel like ours is like down a couple rungs, but no, were I, we on par with Stonewall? I think so. I think it was very exciting. I mean, after all, four of the saunas were raided, and 300 people were arrested, and it was a very big deal. Yeah. You were at Stonewall. By chance. I mean, in other words, I was walking past it with a friend of mine. We were having dinner, uh, my first boyfriend ever. And, uh, and all of a sudden, there was all this activity around us at Sheridan Square. And I wasn't in Stonewall. I mean, it, it had uh, become mainly a black and tan bar. Uh, you know, white people weren't all that welcome. In 1969, that was the height of, of black uh, power, and, uh, and places where blacks went didn't welcome whites, and vice versa. Right. You were walking by, and what exactly was happening? Well, the cops uh, had only one big wagon, and they took off half of the uh, staff, which was very large, about 20 people, and they took off half of them and some of the drag queen customers, and then left some cops behind, barricaded inside the bar, and uh, the crowd, rather than dispersing as they always had before, became angry and began ripped up uh, parking meters and use them as parking as battering rams to batter the doors down. There were uh, all kinds of people. Uh, I mean, the West Village gay crowd was uh, pretty extremely gay. I mean, evolved, as we say in France. Uh, I mean, very evolved. I mean, that like they they were really cutting edge in terms of gay liberation, and I think that they, we, had picked up the lessons from women's liberation, black liberation, um, and the, the Vietnam War protests. And uh, so all that was circulating in the air. Until then, gays thought of themselves as either a sin or a crime or a mental illness. Most middle class people like me chose mental illness because that seemed somehow more treatable. But, uh, uh, but the thing was that suddenly everything flipped and gay people began to see themselves as something like a minor minority group. And that was brand new. Nobody had ever thought of that before. Do you remember that flip? Like Yeah. Uh, I mean, the crowd was saying, gay is good, which was a, a parody of black is beautiful. But, and everybody laughed when they said it. Nobody took themselves seriously because it seemed so outrageous that we would demand our rights when after all, we were scum. Yeah. We had no right to demand rights, you know. Yeah, often there, there's, there seems to be some debate over exactly who was there. The drag queens actually led it or something. Is that the case or was it more? I think that's more? true, no, that's, really? the, I mean, they were definitely the, yeah, there was a, a woman or a drag queen called Martha 
who was head of a group called STAR, Street Transvestite Activist Revolutionaries, and she was very much uh, the heroine of the evening. Oh, wow. Are you going to write a, a no. something about, no? Oh. I have written about it, yeah. and the beautiful room is empty. I, I wrote the last chapters about the Stonewall Uprising. Right.